Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Ruby Khanna, and today I'm back with something different. So this time I'm going to do a book recommendations video, uh, which is romance edition. So if you don't know me that much, um, I am into books so much. I love reading novels. That's my favorite hobby, and uh, I thought why not do this video. Uh, so I have read. 32 books by far in my life like the recorded ones so i'm doing only a romance edition book recommendations and uh, i hope you enjoy this video let's go into it and guys don't worry this video will not contain any spoilers because i literally want you all to read these books so the first book is world's best boyfriend this is one of the first like teen books or romance books that i read So yeah this is very special to me and it's a 5 out of 5 for me. It starts with this uh, girl named Aranya who has a disease called vitiligo if i'm not pronouncing it wrong. So you have that uh, white and black patches on your skin so her parents abuse her for that because obviously they say that she does not look good and everything and then um there's this uh kid that the guy named Dhruv who is who's going through a very bad family crisis because um uh, apparently his mother is having an affair with the principal of the school and uh, they his mother and father have divorced so it they both have this very bad crisis going on and nobody talks to Aranya in school because of the disease and then Dhruv does not have enough friends because he is not in a proper state of mind. But then eventually they fall in love, and uh, one day they are caught doing uh, some thing at the school, and then their parents are called, and then they develop hate for each other. But there are a lot of twists. The joy that they put in this, like you need to. Like do they end up together? Do they not? And they, मतलब they grow up hating each other, not talking to each other, and they are like grown ups. And this is a middle school thing going on. So this was like the childhood relationship with them, and they grew up who hating each other and what the future has for them. So they both have moved on, and you know, बहुत सालों बाद होता है start, and uh, you need to read this. So the next book I'm going to be talking about is You Were My Crush Till You Didn't Said You Love Me by the Jawadatta. Literally, the Jawadatta is and this time also my favorite author uh, in like romance. He writes such great romance stories, literally. So uh, I had to get back to a little bit of some summary because I read in this book like in eighth grade, so I don't know. <laughs> but it's a typical teenage love stories that you see in movies but like it has its own twists and turns and you will enjoy it um it's a story of literally uh, a, a guy named benoy who is a spoiled brat and uh, he all he he does not have a mother his mother dies of cancer and he does not have good relationships with his dad also but he uses him to you know get out of fights to bribe the professors and everything obviously he is rich and everything and he has uh, his best friend ishan ishan whatever you call him so yeah that's all he matters to him in his life he is he's not that love kind of person who fall in love and everything he's spoiled brat but there's this cat fight one fine day between him and a girl who is diya and then through diya he meets another girl who's diya's little sister little sister i guess yes shaina so he falls in love with shaina and they are dating but one fine day diya decides that this is not good because he's a spoiled brat and you know she obviously she is protective about her sister also and she is thinking like what if he is using her because obviously everyone like knew he is a spoiled brat and he is spoiled because of his rough past so nobody understands that and you know he is a very misunderstood character if you would 
I would say straight. So yeah, but then in the end and everything like oh, like it is a very good story. You need to read this. <laughs> a five out of five for me. So the next one I'm going to talk about is never kiss your best friend so this has a sequel which is just friend and just friend is the first one and then is never kiss your best friend but i read never kiss your best friend first and then i read just friends and you will understand agar aap order mein nahi bhi padho mujhe bhi samajh aa gaya but uh, i would suggest pehle aap just friends padho and then never kiss your best friend padho just friend is like a four for me but never kiss your best friend is like a five or five for me it's a story about Tani and Summer Singh Dhillo. So it starts with uh, Tani is the girl who writes, who's narrating. Like from the starting, she's only narrating. She writes journals and everything. So she's only narrating, and it starts with today I saw him. मतलब आगे से शुरू होती है story कि she uh, saw uh, Summer after many years, and then वो story बताना शुरू करती है कि how they met. and how they became best friends and what all happened and you know so obviously he had left and then she is meeting him after many more years and what is happening like what really happened you come to know at the end why he left his best friend and there are many things happening like uh, he has a very cruel dad and he always thinks he's adopted because his dad does not treat him right and what all mysteries are there in the family and also between them and also why he left and the ending you will cry like if you cry in fault in our stars then you'll cry in this i cried and i'm like i couldn't get over that book for like two weeks i was just thinking about it like no god why and but it's a very good book oh, i i would read it just infinity number of times i've already read it twice so yeah it also has um a z5 web series on it but i i don't like it it's good acting is good everything but if you compare the novel then it's not so i would suggest reading the book instead of the web series next book which i'm going to recommend is Every Breath by Nicholas Sparks. So, this book was recommended to be my by one of my best friends. Also, it also made me cry. Like, it starts with like um, there's a guy whose name is True. His why did the camera move on its own? Okay, anyways, so there's this guy named uh, True. His full name is something else, but he's called True. and uh, he is a guide in zimbabwe he is 42 year old and uh, he has been divorced he uh, his matlab wife and him rushed to marriage and he is a guide so he has always has to travel and then he does not give time to his family so his wife divorced him but they have a very good relationship like best friends um and he also has a kid from there so it starts ki usko ek letter aata hai from his biological dad so he has never ever met his biological dad and all what he knows is his dad left his mom so he wants to ask ki kyun choda wagera wagera so obviously he gets a letter and letter mein it's written that i want to meet you because i am dying it has tickets to travel to north carolina from zimbabwe to meet so he travels there and uh, then there this girl named hope and uh, she uh, her uh, okay she has a boyfriend who she has been dating for 6 years and recently he, her father has been diagnosed with als and then uh, als is a deadly disease like which does not have a cure or something yeah that's all i know about the disease and then um she has to sell his uh, a family's cottage in north carolina so they cross paths in north carolina by chance and uh, it changes their life forever and you cannot imagine like okay then uh, 
they somehow develop feelings and everything but then she has a boyfriend so you need to read to find out what happens but it is very hard breaking like it is so hard breaking it has a kind of a happy ending but not a happy ending i can't define but oh, you need to read it five out of five stars for me so the next book i'm going to talk about is it ends with us by colleen hoover five out of five for me oh uh, nicole leano uh, this is a favorite book and she actually recommended this so i'm like okay let's read it damn good okay you need to read this so it starts with a rooftop <laughs> where there are rail and lily sitting so lily is a 23 year old girl and rail is i don't know how much age he was but yeah he is and then rail is a kind of guy who they are very opposite of each other so rail is a kind of guy who never gets into a relationships lily is the one who is into long lasting relationships but he she is not at in relationship right now but it starts with like a lily Lily's father died died and she's not sorry about it and uh, the funeral speech which we give she messes up there so she's sitting on the rooftop and Ryle comes there he's a typical stranger like also a warning that you need to consult your parents before reading this if you are like a kid or something and the rooftop scene ends and they go like away but then they have this habit of naked truths so naked truths are actually things that you won't admit but they are true so yeah, they keep playing this game of naked truths and they get to know about each other but they are like they are complete strangers so they go away and they think they never meet destiny has something else back for them ah uh-huh. there is also this past life of lily that we get to know about we get to know about his uh, abuse of father and his pa- her past love through uh, her journal so she used to watch this show when until she was 14 she used to watch this show which was something like miss evelyn or something this was, there was this girl who used to interview people so she used to write letters to her but she never posted them so it's like a journal and she keeps reading them and we get to know about her life also through them past life and colleen always puts like a uh, very good happy endings in there so yeah you need to but you might cry in between so yeah because i did <laughs> but you need to read this now the last book which i am going to recommend in this video is if it's not forever it's not love by the joy datta and in collaboration with nikita singh if you are already a fan of the joy datta like me it's very good so it's more of like a mystery also but you know love and mystery yeah so it starts with this okay there are four main characters deb avantika tia and shrey and deb and shrey are best friend and if you have read uh, the jalata novels before you know that deb and avantika are uh, in a relationship then there's deb's best friend shrey and the tia is the new girl shrey is caught in everything deb was in a bomb blast he survived but he cannot forget the haunting you know images there and uh, he finds a diary and whose owner is probably dead because the diary is lying there and he picks up the diary and that diary is a personal diary and uh, the author has written about love of his life in it every day things and all the day what he talks about is that girl whose name is ragini they are like ki the owner is probably dead but we need to uh, send this to ragini because if it's not forever it's not love so we need to tell ragini that you know he loved her and uh, they go off on this trip to find ragini and uh, it ye bahut bollywood sound karega aise hi nikal gaye but nahi it was literally not bollywood bahut sahi tha and they 
मतलब दे गो आउट कि हम ढूंढेंगे मतलब नॉट दे एक्चुअली दब फाइंड धीरे धीरे दब बताता है सबको एंड पहले तो दे ही टेल्स दैम दैट वी आर गोइंग ऑन अ ट्रिप बट लेटर ही टेल्स दैम अबाउट द डायरी ऑल्सो एंड मतलब देर इज नो एड्रेस देर इज नथिंग इन द डायरी सो मतलब जो भी उसने स्टोरी लिखी है वो उसी से चीजें निकालते हैं जैसे कि स्कूल जाते हैं कॉलेज जाते हैं उसके दे आर लाइक डिटेक्टिव बट वट हैपन एट द एंड इन द लास्ट फोर्टी पेजेस वेन आई रेड दैट थिंग आई लाइक वेट वॉट आई नीड टू रीड दिस अगेन बिकॉज दैट वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन Oh, but I give it like a four out of five. It is basically starting me very slow, so that is why like four point five out of five. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I give you very good book recommendation. If you want episode two about like preteen uh, novels that you you all can read, or any genre or mystery novels or anything. Do tell me in the comments. And I love you guys so so much. Stay positive. Bye bye.